Welcome back to another episode of Astrology, but for Tarkov players. I don't have anything else to say here, so let's get into it. Flashbangs in general in Escape from Tarkov are pretty worthless. They're fairly inconsistent, and it's impossible to know whether someone has actually been flashed or not. For this reason, nobody uses them for PvP. That being said, Zarya's do have a usage. They are excellent scav boss detectors. Scavs always react to grenades regardless of what type they are. Whether it's a flash or a frag, scavs will yell and start running. Because of this, players on customs or interchange may use Zarya's to determine whether a scav boss has spawned without needing to gamble their head and peek at it visually. If you hear flashbangs going off consistently on either of these maps, it is most likely a person who is hunting the scab bosses, meaning that they are likely very experienced and very skilled. So, good luck with that. That's the expectation, but in reality, no one uses this. It's more expensive than Azaria and is less effective as a scab detector. I think it could be a more viable tool if it were thrown quicker than a standard grenade. Maybe it's like the old grenade system where you just press G and it is instantly thrown. Or just make it a 9-banger. Basically anything for it to not be completely worthless. The F1 grenade is the generic skirmishing grenade. If someone is using them, they will most often be carrying four and will use them very liberally. Because of this, you can expect them to throw all their grenades within the first few seconds of a fight before they go and hold an angle for 20 minutes. The only other noteworthy detail is that F1s seem to be silent more often than other grenades. I'm not sure why, but whenever I die from a grenade that just plops on my feet with absolute silence, it's always an F1. The RGD5 is, in most aspects, the exact same as the F1. There are some minor, imperceptible differences. For example, the RGD has fewer fragments, but they do more damage, whereas the F1 has more fragments, but each one does less damage. That being said, there is a hyper-specific niche group of people who prefer the RGD. The RGD is a lot rounder than the F1, so when it bounces off the ground, it rolls a bit straighter, whereas the F1 tends to curve off to the left. This does make the RGD5 more predictable when thrown over a distance. Again, hyper niche, and if someone is keeping this in mind, then they're probably pretty good, but they also haven't seen the sun in three years. To most people though, the RGD and F1 are both just funny little guys that go boom and murder everything near them. People who use this thing on a regular basis might as well be labeled as artillery pieces. Getting airbursted by an M67 that was thrown from over 100 meters away is nothing short of terrifying. Because of this long fuse time, the M67 is ideal over long distances, but pretty terrible up close. If someone is using it in close quarters, they are either desperate or think edging people with a hand grenade is really funny. You wanted a shorter fuse grenade, but didn't want to spend the extra rubles for the VOG-25. This tends to be the budget option of choice for people doing Grenadier, so they'll try to throw it at any opportunity. However, they don't typically use grenades outside of doing Grenadier, so their skill with them is questionable at best. The VOG-25 is the grenade of choice for the aggressive player. 
It's a two second fuse and it hits really hard. If you see this thing flying at you, you're cooked. There's literally nothing you can do. If someone is using this, they're going to push really, really hard. Just shoot a loud gun in the air and wait for like 10 seconds. You'll probably see one of these crackheads running straight at you. On open ground, you have a fairly solid chance against them, but if you're in a building, the bunker, or some other enclosed space, then good luck. At that point, all you can do is pray they mess up their throw and blow themselves up, which happens more often than it probably should. Yeah, this guy has been playing way too much Baldur's Gate. It's wizard time, motherfucker! Fireball! The RGO is a defensive version of the RGN, meaning that it has more fragments and deals more damage, but it can't be thrown nearly as far. Because of this, it is the prime grenade for rats. Many a times have players been sent tearfully back to the lobby after being obliterated by a ceiling goblin in the D2 extract. Otherwise, impact grenades are very situational in Escape from Tarkov, so if someone is bringing one in, it is going to be their primary weapon and they are planning on shenanigans. This is a clear sign that there is a player scav in the area. That's it. This thing sucks and has no usage whatsoever. Once again, a scav found it in a box and decided to throw it, because why not? The smoke grenades in Tarkov are completely useless, as they don't at all fit the flow of gameplay. With the amount of rotates, flank routes, and other movement opportunities, waiting for a smoke grenade just doesn't make sense. If they wanted a viable smoke grenade, it would have to be something like the RDG-M. A decently small, but very quick-acting smoke screen that doesn't stick around for too long. The M381, these are the 40mm grenade shells that uh, explode under 10 feet. Yeah, these do not exist. The only place I know for sure that they can spawn, at least I'm pretty sure, is on Big Pipe. Otherwise, after checking hundreds of grenade containers, I have not found a single one. They are not real. Then there's every other 40mm grenade. If someone is using one of these, two things are certain. They are in a group of at least three people, and they are not taking the game seriously at all. If they are using an underbarrel grenade launcher, the first shell will most likely miss by a lot, and this is your one chance to get away, as the second shell is going to make a beeline for your forehead. The VOG-25, but the grenade launcher variant. Um, basically the exact same thing as the 40mm grenades, with one difference. The first shot from a 40mm grenade will miss wildly in any direction, whereas the first VOG-25 is going to miss high. Then the second one will land right on top of you. The 40mm Apers is another one of those things in Tarkov that is mostly viewed as a joke. Like, why would I put a shotgun shell in my grenade launcher? It just seems kind of goofy. And then you realize it's capable of doing 2400 damage. Yeah, take this thing on factory. You'll be the only one laughing. And that about covers it. Uh, here's the inevitable shout out to the channel sponsor Gamersups, love those guys. Uh, they just had a new merch drop, so be sure to check that out in the link in the description. If you're interested, use code LAVIVI for 10% off. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed.